So here's the exa second example from this topic. And I have provided uh, more background information and details on how to approach this topic in the first example. So I'll move through this one a little bit more quickly. Okay, so when we look here, they want us to rate these types of radiation by order of frequency, order of wavelength, and order of energy. So nu represents frequency, lambda wavelength, and capital E for energy. Well, I have to explore the relationships that we discussed in the first example, uh, the, how frequency, wavelength, and energy relate to each other as we talk about electromagnetic radiation. And so I know that the higher the energy, the higher the frequency. So I just need to determine which type of radiation here is highest energy. So it's between red light, green light, radio waves, and infrared radiation. So red and green light are going to fall within the visible light spectrum, which is this very, very narrow band here. The only type we can see with our eyes. Infrared is over here. It, it is a type of non-ionizing radiation, and so are radio waves. So our higher energy radiations are to the left of this figure. So which type of radiation is furthest left is the question. Red light, radio waves, infrared, or green light? And the answer is going to be green light. So green light is our highest energy. So the before highest. Well, the higher the energy, the higher the frequency. So let's determine our lowest energy radiation. And our lowest energy radiation are going to be the radio waves here. So I find radio waves and it is going to be one lowest. The lower the energy, the lower the frequency. Okay. So between red light and infrared, so here's red light and here's infrared. Red light is going to be a little bit higher energy than infrared. So red light is going to be the next highest, which is going to leave two for infrared. This will be three as well, and two. The last thing we need to do is order them by wavelength. Well, what is the relationship between wavelength and energy or wavelength and frequency? The higher the energy, the shorter the wavelength. Or the higher the frequency, the shorter the wavelength. And so if I find my highest frequency, that'll be my shortest wavelength. Or I could find my highest energy, which would be my shortest wavelength. So this will be shortest. Where is my next highest energy or frequency? It is here, red light. So this would be the next shortest. And then my next highest frequency would be infrared. So this would be three. And then my lowest energy or frequency is radio waves which would make this the longest wavelength.